fail early, fail often, fail forward. Practice. Practice is controlled failure. You're getting to your limit, getting to your limit, getting to your limit. You can't lift that. You can't do that. You Until you get to the point that all of a sudden your body makes the adjustment and then you can do it. So fail early, fail often, fail forward. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. Check this out. Guess what? Guess what? We bringing back Ultimate Athlete the episodes right here, right now. So I got this episode. I got the 2088-20. I got whatever else the hell I be doing. I don't know. Might max out another video. Might, you know what I'm saying? I'm random. Y'all know I'm random, but that's why you love me. So we're going to get this Ultimate Athlete workout done. We're going to functional movement. Uh, today, once again, I know you guys are, you know, you come see me lift heavy shitloads amount of weight, you know, for my body weight at least, for my body weight, once again, for my body weight and being natural, this is shitload of weight, all right? We're gonna focus on uh, functional movements, try to get in the body fluid, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that I just wanna put back in your mind to focus on. Not everything needs to be muscle build, muscle build, growth, growth, pump, pump, you know what I'm saying? Not everything has to be so bodybuilding, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, man, nah, stop saying you know what I'm saying, Teron. <laughs> you know, it's just about being able to train for long periods of time, you know, throughout your your livelihood, you know what I'm saying? So that is my, you know, my key goal in the long run. I mean, period, not in the long run, just period. For you in the long run, um, that I just want you to stay healthy and um, focus on the full aspect of fitness, not just, just doing one style of training. So let's get it. So everything we do right now for this startup is about three sets of each exercise, um, each leg, you know, doing the unilateral movements. So you're gonna get pretty primed and ready for some intense, not heavyweight intense stuff, but just some intense training as far as, you know, the functional movement stuff. So, got single leg, six reps, switch, See right now, we're doing that same movement we ended on, going backwards. Now I have weighted, so going down into a push up, up, single leg jump. I got 40 pounds in each hand, so 80 pounds all together, plus whatever how the body weight distributes. And we're doing three reps each side, three sets. Now what we're focusing on is extension of the hips with the sled. We're not pushing it like crazy. We're not going all out. What this is, is a step, boom, hips through. Step, boom, hips through. So we run, we want those hips to stay forward. What that's gonna do is keep you from pulling a quad uh, hamstring when you're boom, 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 boom. When you start going like this, right? When you start bending over, your hamstrings are, are starting to stretch more. So, you wanna stay upright, boom, boom. That, that follow through with the leg, that's a lot of hip, a lot of glute activation. When that glute's activated, that's gonna keep your muscles, your quads, your hamstrings safe from tearing. So, also, stretching, release, things as such as well. If you're tight, you're tight, and you shouldn't be running full speed um, anyway. Start right here, boom. Hip forward, triple extension, put down. Tight glute. About 10 steps, keeping those glutes as tight as possible. That's one thing I want to keep in your mind. Keep those glutes contracted throughout the full motion. So boom, this goes down, that right glute's activated, that next leg goes down, boom. Left leg, left glute activated, and you want that throughout the full motion. So like this, both glutes are speed, right? Leg comes up, of course, obviously, you can't squeeze that glute the same when the leg's up, but this right glute is activated. So I'll push down. Boom! Super contraction. Boom! The butt should be impenetrable. 
needles should bounce off that bitch. If you don't have that, the next thing you can do is come to the wall, get in that same stance, you're gonna get a little more higher, boom. Same thing, boom, squeeze, hit, boom. And kind of get that, that longer feeling, hold it for about two seconds, each hit, boom. One, two, hit, boom. One, two. One thing all you focus on is doing things with body movement such as handstand push-ups. So it's gonna be wall supported and I'm gonna kind of take it a step up and do a push-up, come up into a handstand push-up and back down and try to do that four times. For you, I would just rather you focus on if you are capable of doing so. I'm not saying nobody's really capable, but this is a very this is an advanced movement, so I want you to be careful. And I don't want you to think just because, you know him or he or she or whatever you're doing. I can't, you know, there are steps to this, you know. And um, I always say, is like, if you can body press, if you can uh, shoulder press your body weight, then, you know, on barbell, you're good. Even though this is different. But if you can, if you can shoulder press your body weight, then I can say you can give it a go. Because that's what you're pretty much doing. we got switched over to uh, upper body. Now we got some single arm unilateral bench press, which I love to do. Uh, I think it's a great strength movement. I think, you know, especially when it comes to building the core and like, not even like focusing on core, you know, doing like ab crunches and leg lifts. This just builds the core in a, in a secondary phase. So, you wanna grab 105s, we're gonna do four sets of eight, single arm, and if you have shoulder issues, do it from the floor. You know, the floor keeps you from going all the way past a joint where you, can, you feel that stretch and it starts to pull on that shoulder. So get on the floor and you get that perfect 90 degrees and press back up. Chest bar, no rows, no flip around, no rows for the same thing. Eight reps, three sets. Two, three, four, five, six, Set to eight overhead squats. I'm not going too crazy because I don't have my shoes. This is a uh, more than acceptable week for me right now. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. If you want workouts like this, uh, more exclusive workouts, become a channel member. I share a lot of full week. Um, I've been sharing. Well, I was behind, so I share my programs, which everybody got pretty much for four ninety nine. Um, but I've been. Uh, I just released an exclusive program. And after a week is done uh, with the program, or I, I, after a month is done with the program, I delete it. So, if you want to get on to the programs that I release out on the, uh, for my memberships, it's only $4.99 a month. I hit the join button and get some cool, exclusive, crazy workouts that I do. And um, I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy it. So, catch you guys later. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And, uh, Chick-fil-A. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.